well, let's check in on the weather. It's going to be a nice day. We're preparing for the potential for wintry weather, though, yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday. This is a nice skyline of Boston, and uh, you can see just it is a nice afternoon. You know, I, I have some plants in the garage that I can't leave outside all winter long and I moved them outside last night and they got some nice rain. I got to move them back in because we got more cold coming. But for today, not too bad. The headline, however, I want to talk about Wednesday storm. That's really the next time the weather may impact our lives in a bigger way around here. So it arrives during the middle part of the day, starting mainly as snow. And that rain snow line will quickly push towards the north, changing it to rain in Boston and places north and west. But then the further north and west you go, the snow will continue longer. That means it will be more probably plowable. So those of you that make your living this time of the year from plowing, you'll probably be working here by Wednesday afternoon and certainly Wednesday evening. So overnight tonight, temperatures are going to be cold. After the highs today in the 30s and lower 40s, we go back down into the teens and 20s. Look at Worcester at 16 and Laconia and Springfield up there in central portions of New Hampshire and Vermont down just approaching the single digits. Tomorrow, high temperatures, not too bad, mainly in the 30s, perhaps a couple of 40s here and there. It's fairly typical for this time of the year. And remember, our temperatures this time of year are slowly increasing even though certainly winter is not over. And as we look at the jet stream, what we're going to see over the next couple of weeks is basically a pattern where we'll have shots of cold, then a shot of warm, a shot of cold, and then a shot of warm. And depending on exactly when the storms come, are they coming more when we're warm or cold, is going to determine whether or not we're seeing more snow than rain. And we have several of these systems to contend with over the next 10 to 14 days. So I think it's going to be an active pattern. Whether it's a shoveling pattern or not remains to be seen. So here's what we've got right now. There's yesterday's rain really rapidly moved out of here. It was just clear this morning by the time the sun came up. And now we have that blend of clouds and sunshine. So Wednesday, we'll fast forward. Here we are at 7 o'clock. I think by then the rain snow line will have pushed north of Boston. You can see along the coast of Maine as well. But the ski areas should do pretty well out of this. And it may be, if we can get some of these systems to stay on the cold side up in northern New England, that the mountains will build up a nice base as we head into President's Day vacation, that February break that many folks have. You can see by Thursday, however, back to a northwesterly flow. As temperatures stay a little bit below average here towards the end of the week, not excessively cold. It's not going to be bitter, but it will be chilly. And then for the weekend, we'll have one little weak system to the north with a couple of showers on Saturday. And then Sunday, maybe a more significant rainstorm moving in. But as I said, rain, not snow. We'll keep an eye on that for you. So here we go with the seven-day forecast. A nice day today. Not bad tomorrow, not a lot of sunshine. There's the mess on Wednesday, and then it's just cold thereafter before we have more light precipitation Saturday and maybe a rainstorm for Sunday.